Hey, we're back. And we're in high definition now. We, well, okay, not bad, not bad, eh? <laughs> well, you know. Alan Will. Alan Will. It's been a little while. I've been a bit busy. It's been a moment, as they say in the classic. <laughs> 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 yeah, let's, let's, let's go with moment. <laughs> yeah. Three weeks later. Jeez. Is it that long? It's Something stupid like that, yeah. No. Okay, let's hit. Time Ford, flies when you're having fun. Ford Puma launch. Ford Puma launch. That okay. you went on, I didn't. <laughs> It was very nice. Yeah, um, I'm still very unhappy about the fact that you were there and I wasn't. It's an interesting car, you know, so everyone says it's not a replacement for the EcoSport, but can I let you into a little yeah. secret? Mm. It's a replacement for the EcoSport. I know it's yeah. a crossover SUV and the yeah. EcoSport wasn't yada yada yeah. yada. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you look at it and you're thinking, what am I going to buy as a Ford that's a small, compact, well not small, but yeah. mid yeah. size compact yeah. thing. Look, um, that replaced the EcoSport. Look, the EcoSport mm. was... You're going to buy a Puma. The EcoSport was essentially one of the first crossover SUVs, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. And crossover SUVs moved in the time the EcoSport was around from that boxy... Because that EcoSport was around for a long time. It was 10 12, plus years, I think. Yeah, yeah. just almost yeah. 12 years. Yeah, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah. it was the original boxy... Yeah. Boom, 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 yeah. boom. Which served an amazing purpose and, and was a forerunner. They sold a ton of them. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, a load of them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. And... For good reason. They were damn good cars. Yeah, yeah. I, I've driven a lot of them. I was on one or two of the face of launches. I mean, you know, I know the Echo Sport well. Mm. That that engine, that mm. little one liter Echo Boost engine, didn't win World Engine of the Year twice. I think. I think it was seven times. It was some silly number. There's a reason it won that. Okay. Well, Brilliant little engine. That's and not gone. The interesting thing that's that carried in the, the engine over. It's in the Puma. Yeah. I mean, now you're talking. A 15 odd year old engine already. Well, it's yeah, when it, yeah. When it first launches, the size of A4 piece of paper, blah blah blah. Yeah. But the, why why change it? It's still it's it's still efficient that good. as anything, yeah. it's that good. It's still to those that care that 91 kilowatts is still more than virtually any other equivalent similar engine puts out. Mm -hmm. So it's got that. Mm -hmm. uh, they've gone now to a what gearbox is in the, in, in the Puma now? Seven speed auto. Dual clutch. Your okay, because the Echo Sport went through that phase of they used that six speed, what it, speed shift they called it, yeah, which okay. uh, they dropped pretty quickly. It didn't seem to be a great success. Uh, then it was a six speed normal automatic in the last Echo Sport. So now they've gone to the seven speed dual clutch. And it's nice. So they've kept up with the market in that respect. Uh, so they positioned the car interestingly. Yeah, well, it's, this it's, is not, it's not. It's no longer entry level. It's no premium. You know, you're talking. Well, a lot of the guys over six hundred k for the obviously for the big one. yeah. Obviously, I've been following everything that's come mm -hmm. out on it. I mean, mm -hmm. we put out the video that you did at the launch. Mm -hmm. Whatever you've seen it on the channel. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's there now. I mean, when I first saw the press releases, it was what are you smoking with that price? Okay, I'll be honest. So it, it, it was because one of those you can... Yeah, yeah because the press release came Eco out. Came, oh, you, look, yes, that's the other thing is you say it's a replacement for the EcoSport, but you're talking mm, a replacement in a to, completely different price to, category. You have to you have to yeah. for it a little bit more. Yeah. Correct. But Quite a bit now, more. a lot of the guy journos have criticized the price and hammered it. What I'm seeing, before you go, I want to give an opinion from what I've seen and heard. It's got a lot of kit for the money. One of two things is going to happen. Either your opinion is going to be right or it's going to be wrong. Yeah. It's got a lot of kit for the money, mm -hmm. especially the top model, mm -hmm. which I know is, what, 80,000 more than the mm -hmm. lower spec or something, which is a mm -hmm. big difference, mm -hmm. but they are throwing spec at that car. So that's exactly it. Yeah. And I think I think they realize that that is probably the most hotly contested segment in the market Correct. at yeah. the moment. Yeah. And that in order for them to stand out, they are either going to go, cut it down to the bone and try and compete on price or they're going to pop it up and say here's a spec car for the next 10 years you could drive this thing yeah. and and you can knock one for anything and i think that's a, that's that's the route that they've gone because it's car real for little car little car it feels like it will last the next 10 okay, years okay well and so you're talking quality you, I, it feels I, premium i hammered them on the on the name because i can't yeah. stand this 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 continuance of, of names mm. that have no relevance in today's market so the original Puma was a two-door sports car. It was a sports car, right. right. yeah, 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 yeah. Correct. yeah. This is just not that. I mean, yeah. Ford, come mm. on. Mm. So anyway, they've, well, listen, they've, hey. they've named it Puma, but uh, it they, is they, quite sporty. Yeah, they've also it brought out sporty. an electric SUV in the States yeah. called the Mustang. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait, that's here. That's here. It's coming. And it's by coming the way, I had a long chat with Neil about this, yeah. and I said to him, 
you can send me an email mm -hmm. and it's only two words you need to say. In fact, three words you need to say. Mm -hmm. You were right when it comes to electric cars. Yeah. Because he hasn't driven one yet. What? He has not driven a fully electric yet. Whoa. This Mustang mm -hmm. is going to blow his socks off. <laughs> I can't wait. I said I would pay actual mm -hmm. money to mm -hmm. be sitting in the seat mm -hmm. next to yeah. the director or the mm -hmm. what? What are they called? The, the, yeah. the president yeah, of president Africa, of Ford, of Ford Africa. Yeah, yeah. When he puts his foot down for the first time in that yeah. Mustang, he's going. To, his eyes are going to fall out. He's going to, I don't yeah, yeah, look, that's the, but be that as may. That's yeah, a that, that's a whole so the, 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 the Puma, Puma yeah. has that kind of sporty, yeah. okay. sporty feel to it. Yeah. So I can kind of. Get over the line with 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 with, with the naming convention. Okay. Um. And 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 I did ask. Look. Also, hang on. Just before you go further. Are they the going to bring Puma, us a fast one? The Puma was never brought here, officially. No, no, it wasn't. So it's a new name to South Africa. Let's mm -hmm. just let's just put that in context. Okay. No, that's okay? fine. But yeah. you know, Ford yeah. Ford Ford, Ford mm -hmm. nutters have have blue blood. You know. So yeah. They, yeah. They, they, yeah. They kind of like you know mm. this is important to them. Okay. So now are they going to bring the ST? Is that well, the it's, proper it's, ST? It's, it's, it's gone. ST is no longer going to be around. It's finished as a, okay. as, 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 yeah. as a thing. So the what sport, Ford, what the sport would version be? will be, I don't know, I mean, three to two months. Interesting. They're not, fact, they're not saying in a fact, thing. Very interesting. They're not saying a thing. ST line Vignale. That's the... Okay, the now Vignale, yeah. I know if I'm pronouncing it right, yeah. is a, uh, a line name they've used in Europe yeah. for quite a while already. To signify premium. It, that was their top spec. Yeah. I mean, so, as is platinum in the Everest, for what example. What the ST right? line is in that in that line of? Yeah, I have yeah, no yeah, idea. Yeah, okay. Because it's not an ST; it's an yeah. ST line. It's like yeah. GR and GR line, the, and the, in, the, in yes. line. And oh my, ST line, oh. as I like to call it. Well, yeah, 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 yeah. And um, anyway, so I suspect mm. what's actually going to happen. You're going to love this. Okay. You're going to be over the moon with yeah. this. Is that the next Puma is going to come the performance one? It's going to be electric. It will probably would. Right? Yeah. I mean. What isn't going to be electric one of these days? Well, that's when it comes to sports performance, that's the way for... Oh, By the way, I have done. to just tell you, I have to just tell you, talking electric, there is a charging point in the shopping center around the corner. Oh, wonderful. Yes. It's starting. Yeah. It's starting. That's going to make my life a lot easier with my next electric. It's starting. This, yeah. is, this, is, this is where it's going to go. This has just been installed. You just, I, I, was, yeah. I, was, I was about to say, I thought you'd put one actually in your garage, which would make life even, even, even better. Well, I heard you sponsoring it for me. No. <laughs> <laughs> but, but I've got my eyes on which electric car I want to buy when it comes out. Okay, which one is that? Uh, the X30. But yeah. Uh, oh, yeah, well. uh, I, I need to, I need to, I need to do a lot more motoring yeah. journalism. Pays a lot better than you do <laughs> before that happens. Uh, yeah, well, yeah, yeah. Let's, um, let's not go there. Okay. All right. Listen. Back to the let's back to the people. Okay. So premium, premium yeah. uh, B segment sort right. of SUV yeah. crossover thing. Okay. Only front wheel drive. Yeah. It does have off road settings, so you okay. can you can adjust your drive modes. Like sand. Yeah, uh, sand roads. Yeah. Okay. So like a lot of the others, I mean, I think almost made a slip of the yeah. tongue, um, and 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 that kind of thing. And it has, as you say, all the toys. Now, the the the, the premium for the Vignale is is significant. Yeah, right? mm -hmm. that is still the one to go for. Do you know why? Why? It's got thicker front windshield glass. Okay. No. And and that just goes. It's yeah. it's, it's a little bit of extra deadening. The optional pack that mm -hmm. you that that, mm -hmm. that that I had on the on the on the on the launch car is the sunroof. Yes. Which is standard actually, on it. Which stand is, on the top, yeah. Actually, actually, no, it's not. You have to pay an extra 18 grand oh, for that. Okay. But then you get adaptive cruise control, a whole bunch of other things that come with it as well. Um, but I don't like yeah. sunroofs. I oh, know you don't. But for that pack, no. I would I would, mm. I would okay. use an extra. All right. okay. That sunroof mm. actually looks amazing when it's out. It's yeah. whole thing lifts up. It's very okay. cool. And the top spec, you can get the active safety. Correct. Okay. Correct. Because now that is there's my a, other big there, point there's a, is... There's a, lot of, there's a lot of spec. Yeah, on, yeah. On, on, so the 80 on the grand. Cars, isn't the extra 80 yeah, grand. Yeah. It's a lot, but I think it's well worth it. Yeah. You know, this has always been my point on spec levels. Yes, it's, uh, it's more than 10%. I'm going to now your, totally digress, but make but, my point here. Yeah. Yeah. I've just tested the Mazda CX-30. Yes. There are four models in the range. Okay. All right. Not that big a price range. Mm. Uh, I'm going to call it, it's 497 to 573. Okay. And my, the video will be live very soon. My answer on that one was very simply, take the bottom or the top. Don't oh, bother yeah. with the middle two. Yeah. Sorry, not knocking Mazda. Yeah, but that's just your... But that's just my take on it. That sure. Don't... Yeah, you know, when you've got such a small range, yeah. why bother with the in-betweenies? Yeah. 
That's that's my feeling. No, so maybe yeah. maybe it's just an option for the guys who actually have to have the one thing that 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 it gives you. And, yeah, and no, no, I, I, I get it, but it just I'm gets saying, them over that line. Maybe. Yeah, but it would yeah. simplify the range. It would so, simplify. So. Anyhow, that's just my feeling. Okay. So what they've done here is the only two which I like. Yes. Okay, that's great. It's enough. And so yeah. with Puma, mm, you've yeah. only got two. Yeah. <laughs> so there you go. Okay, okay. now just um, last comment on it. The actual ride on the road. My name is Michael Pachut and I'm the proud owner of Change Cars and the host of the TV show All Things Motoring. But I'm even prouder today to say that I work with Alan Rosenmeyer from Motor Matters, better known as a man with a hat. If you're looking for the best reviews on all new vehicles, Motor Matters. If you're looking for the best deals on new or used cars, changecars.co.za, where every car is sold by a five-star rated manufacturer approved dealer. Surprisingly good, yeah. and 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 a, and a and a good balance, I think, mm. between sport and comfort. Okay, and and mm. and that's that that's something I always appreciate. Is it that, back that to the good old days of Ford having nice handling? I think so. Yeah, you know, you know it's, um, it's, yeah. it's 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 a case of it's difficult on launch to to yeah, to, yeah. to to tell because you don't get enough time in the car with the twisties mm. and things. Um, I did have a, a a former racing car driver as my. As my co-driver, okay. and uh, you know, I said to him, mm. "Go for it." Yeah. And round the corners in Kemp's Bay, it's, right. mm. it, it felt yeah. it okay. felt confident. Because you know, Ford used to always that used it's to got be a part lot, of their DNA I, I as well. I think yeah. I think yeah. I think there's certainly uh, a strong aspect. Okay. Of that now, back. quickly, and you I know, can't answer this. You'll have to you, you give know, me two you know they've direct. Entered Dakar. Sorry. They've entered Dakar with the Puma. But no, Ford with the, oh. with the with the range. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, okay. yeah, 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 yeah. I'm just saying. Okay, sport. Give me coming back. two direct competitors. Well, I think you've mentioned one. Yeah, CX thirty. Yeah, yeah. And I think it's going to come up. Mm. This is gonna. I'm gonna throw mm. you left to centre here yeah. because it's not really mm. an SUV, but it's gonna come up against the top range of the of, of the of the Corolla Cross. Okay. Which is not really, I yeah. think, exactly. But I think those are the two where. I think the family guys are going to sort of start to like. Okay, because now I'm going to say, around. looking at the car. Again, the obvious one, mm. immediately mm. obvious one is mm. the Mokka. Okay, I was going to throw Kona. Kona's a good one. Yeah, and maybe not the Corolla Cross, but going in Toyota, the CHR. Oh, I was thinking about CHR mm. because, of the, because of the techie side of things. The techie side, and also, but to me, the body shape is... Also, that yeah. slightly, I call it the coupe-esque. Certainly. Yeah. But the CHR for mm -hmm. me is mm -hmm. kind of like a little bit more flamboyant. Yeah. You know, it's, okay. it, 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 the, the Puma is mm -hmm. a little bit more conservative in okay. its looks, which I think is good for its longevity. Yeah. Um, the one thing I will say mm -hmm. about the Puma is that is that the boot space is limited. You can only fit half an Allen in there. Okay, okay. So that's very limited, yeah. yeah, and, yeah. My, and my saw's blunt, so it's going to hurt. <laughs> <laughs> but you know the it, what they have done yeah. is very cleverly is mm -hmm. they've put a a, a, a false false floor, floor. Mm -hmm. and you pop that up yeah. and you could toss the spare wheel on the on, on the side mm -hmm. the space up and you can get two sets of golf clubs in there vertically aha uh -huh. yes. <laughs> yes that makes a big difference yeah. it yeah. suddenly becomes really big the only the only thing about that is and why do we always have to say this with our roads, are you prepared to toss your spare well, wheel out? That's the thing, and and I mean, but honestly, I think I think Puma have looked at it and they've said the car's going to spend ninety nine percent of its time without anything in the boot, anyway. Yeah. So, build but it I've just got to say, to, to me, to not have a spare wheel. But yeah, okay, Puma, thumbs up or thumbs down? I like it. I think mm -hmm. I think Ford Ford have been quite conservative in what they expect them to sell on it. Yeah. I think they're going to hit those targets. Uh, okay. What can you mention the number? Um, eighty to hundred a month. Okay. Um, so I so think they're not going to light up the market. I, yeah. No, but I think they're going to hit it. I think yeah. hopefully they're going to hit it on the upside because it's a, it's it's one of those cars that, after you've got mm. out of it, mm. you're thinking, oh, damn, I really enjoyed that about it. Well, I really enjoyed it. Yeah. And and and, mm. and 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 it's certainly a car that I could happily get back into again. Cool. I, I, hope, I hope they give us one for a for a week. I'm so pretty sure we'll get one on test yeah. soon. Yeah. I know uh, I've spoken to Ford. I'm hoping to get cars from them early in the new year. So there we go. Okay, on that yeah. point, see you next time. I don't know how to turn the thing off now. Push this button, yeah.